the NBA restart proposal and why I think it's a missed opportunity for the league. So um, all these NBA insiders, Adrian Wojnarowski, Sham Sharani over at The Athletic, they broke um, the, what the NBA format, what Adam Silver, the actual plan he's going to recommend to the Board of Governors, which they're expected to vote on and approve today at 1230. And that is the format returning of 22 teams. So you have the 16 playoff teams, you know, eight in the East, eight in the West, and you're going to add the Pelicans, the Blazers, the Kings, the Spurs, the Suns, and the Wizards. So 16 teams plus six teams that are all within six games of a playoff spot. All 22 teams are going to go to Orlando and play eight regular season games and then have a play-in tournament for the eighth seed. Now, there's an asterisk there because the only way a play-in tournament happens is if the ninth seed is within four games of the eight. And if that's the case, eight and nine will play each other, double elimination for the eighth seed, single elimination for the ninth seed. So eight regular season games. After that, you know, they're going to count for the standings. After that, after the dust settles, um, they will seed each team one through eight in the West, one through eight in the East. And that the ninth seed is within four games of the eighth seed. And they'll have a double or they will have a playing tournament. Excuse me. The eighth seed has to lose twice. The ninth seed has to lose one time for that final team to get in the playoffs. And then from there, we will go to the traditional eight in the West, eight in the East, one plays eight, two plays seven, vice versa until, you know, we get to uh, to the finals uh, where we crown a champion. So the playoff format is the same once it starts. Playing tournament, 22 teams, eight regular season games is how the restart plan is going to go about. And why I think this is a missed opportunity for the league is a few reasons. One, I thought this year, given everything that's going on, right, given the pandemic, and given Adam Silver's kind of forward thinking, always trying to evolve the league, always trying to think of new ways to get fans engaged and get fans watching games, I thought this was a great chance and a great opportunity to experiment with a new playoff format to see if something works. Now, whether that's seeding one through 16 to where, you know, you throw out the East and West, you boys could put the 16 top teams with the best record. So that's, let's say, 10, you know, teams in the East and only six teams in the West or vice versa. So be it. But the teams, the 16 best teams with the right, uh, the 16 teams with the best record, excuse me, regardless of conference would get in. There is an option. I honestly, I'm not going to lie. When this was one of the opportunities or one of the proposals to restart a group stage format, it's something I think would, would be great for the league. And I think it's very entertaining. And here's why. And that's kind of honestly the format that I'm kind of uh, leaning towards is that it's a great way to speed up the first round of the playoffs to get to better matchups. Now, as we know, the NBA, there's not much parity, right? The best teams are at the top and the best teams for the most part win and move on. And especially in the best of seven series, it's really tough for a lesser talented team a team that's not as good to actually fight and win. Here's what I mean by that. So the last five years, right, we'll go back to the last five playoffs that, that have gone on. Fifth seeds have advanced five times, you know, when they play the four or five and then that initial matchup. So, okay, teams that are pretty close, you know, four and five, Some most of the times those teams go back and forth in the standings each other. And for the most part, those teams are almost pretty much equal. So five, you know, five times in the last five years, basically once a year, fifth seed upsets a fourth seed and advances. Other than that, the last five years, First team seeded six through eight. Only one, one time a team seeded six or worse has advanced to the first round of the playoffs. Um, and there's a six seed, so it's only happened once. So the reason why I bring that up is that there's not much parity in the first round of the playoffs, which is not a bad thing, but it's just to say that there's not many upsets. For the most part, you will have teams one, two, three, and four win their opening series. So I think with the group stage, why it helps is because if you – Keep the number of teams in the playoffs the same, 16, but you split them up basically in four groups of four, and you can kind of tier them to where, let's say, you know, you, you group teams one through four, four through eight, eight through 12, 12 through 16, and you basically put one team in each tier into a group. Sure, you'll still have some, you know, you'll still have, let's say, the Bucks as a one seed, and you may still have the Magic um, as, a, as an eight seed in, in, that, um, in that group. But what it does is that if you only play two or three games per team, all of a sudden now, what you're doing is speeding up the playoffs in the first round because now instead of the Bucks playing four games against the Magic and blow them out of the water, maybe they only play two. And they play, you know, two other games against a team in the middle and maybe they play two other teams, uh, two other games, excuse me, against a team. And that's pretty much in the upper echelon of the playoff format. And what that does is that at least, in, you know, if you allow the top two teams to advance, for the most part, you're still going to have the best teams advance, which is what you want. I don't want to create, you know, create an event or create a playoff system to where it makes it harder and it penalizes teams for being better. But that's not what we're trying to do here. We're not trying to make it to where the eighth seed has so much more advantages and has a legitimate chance to knock off the one seed, right? Trying to rig it as much as possible 
to have the eight seed and have more upsets happen. That's not what we want. But I think of what we do want is maybe, you know, a faster way to get past the first round of the playoffs. Because I know, you know, the playoffs are exciting, but for the most part, there's not many upsets. The series aren't that close, especially in the first round. So if you can have, a, you know, group stage to where, you know, now they're only playing six games, but, you know, hey, listen, six games, you know, against teams of all different calibers, you never know what can happen. So I thought that could be, you know, interesting to speed up the first round of playoffs, make it a little more intriguing, and to kind of avoid those four-game blowouts, four-game sweeps that, again, happen um, a majority of the time. So I thought there's a real chance, whether it's a group stage format, whether it's seeding 1 through 16, forgetting East and West, I thought there's a great opportunity this year, given the circumstance that we have, of trying to try out and test out a new player format to say, hey, listen, if this works, maybe we can use it going forward. Maybe we can use it, you know, put it in the next CBA, and we, we can um, try to negotiate it going forward to have this be the new player format. And I'll, I'll give you an example of this. The All-Star game this past year, right? No one really watches All-Star games. They're getting less and less exciting because they've gotten less and less competitive. What the NBA did, in, instead of, you know, trying to add some juice to the All-Star game, was put an even ending rule, which basically is instead of putting time on the clock, for these games, you put a point total you have to get to. So I think the first three quarters was 25. So the first team you get to 25, and, and that quarter wins, and it's over. It could be 25 nothing. It could be 25-24. You know, th there's no time limit. And then at the end, you know, you have an overall number you have to get to, 130, 140, whatever. So now all of a sudden, instead of, you know, basically watching the clock go down and having teams dribble out, you know, especially in a blowout minutes at a time, you're still – motivated to score you're still motivated to play as hard as possible because now you're not going against the clock you're not wasting time all you're trying to do is get to a point total so it incentivizes scoring it incentivizes um tough play and again when you're not having a clock it makes it that much more competitive and that was great i thought that was everyone's into the all-star game it was a massive success and then going forward that's going to be rule implemented in a lot of these all-star games you could have used that you know that idea as a as a uh, test experiment in this playoffs Maybe the group stage, you know, it sounds a little racky. It sounds a little radical. Maybe that would have been a great answer. Maybe it would have been a, a way to keep the playoffs entertaining so we're not seeing as many sweeps. So that, that's why I feel like it was a missed opportunity is because you could have had a, a real chance here to experiment, to try something new with the playoffs, and see if something sticks to try to change the playoff format. I think the 1 through 8, East versus West, it's tough to watch sometimes. When you have teams under 500 getting the playoffs, it's, it's not that, I'm sorry, when you have the Magic five games under 500 going against the Bucks, that's not a series I'm going to watch. Maybe I'll watch game one just to watch a little bit of Giannis. But it's wake me up when it's, you know, round two, when they're in the semifinals. Group stage, reseeding, could at least, you know, have some more competitive matchups and I think make the, make the first round more exciting. So that's what I would like to see. Obviously, it's not going to happen. But another thing that I'm nervous about is that I think there's too many teams. And with too many teams, I think the risk of coronavirus infection goes up. And with that, that risks the entire playoffs not being played, which obviously would be a bummer for everybody. Because playing the entirety of the playoffs, getting to the finals and crowning a champion is the only concern that the uh, NBA should have. All the, a ton of money, a ton of money through TV contracts are for the playoffs. So you have to ensure that these games are played. You have to ensure that ESPN and TNT get their uh, a lot of the amount of games in. And the finals happen and they're played. So to allow a Suns team that's 26 and 39, six games out of the eighth seed, to allow a Wizards team 24 and 40, 16 games under 500, five and a half games behind the Magic, to let those teams in, to bring that many more people to Orlando, to a bubble city, I think it's the more teams, the more players. To me, it's a greater chance of a player getting sick. And if one player gets sick, he spreads it to the entire team. If they don't catch it early enough, that team plays. And the other team, next thing you know, you know, you have three or four teams with a majority of players sick, and they may let, that may lead to a cancellation of the season. Because also Adam Silver laid out, and is being reported, that the players aren't living in a bubble. Now, they specifically said the players are allowed in Orlando to go play golf. You can go sit to restaurant. You can go outside and sit at restaurants as long as social distancing is being, um, you know, is, is the rules are being respected. So these players are going to be able to go out. They are going to be able to socialize. And again, I personally just get nervous that we see how quickly this virus spreads. You'd want the less amount of people there, the better, just so that this, the, there's less people on the less risk of a player getting sick and spreading it. So. That's why at least I thought that 22 teams, eight, eight regular season games, um, and a play-in tournament for the eighth seed if if the eight and nine seed are, are within four games of each other, 
I just thought it was a missed opportunity personally. I mean, don't get me wring. When the games are played in a month or so, they, they're targeting the end of July, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be tuned in. I just hope that I wish that, you know, um, the format was changed. We could see something else as a, as a test run in 2020 to see maybe a new playoff format um, could be implemented in the future. But that's not the case. We will go east versus west, one through eight, and try to keep things as normal as possible.